what's up team for last this is again amy welcome back to my channel welcome to take up my canal so today we're gonna do a quick get ready with me i'm going to be playing with this morphe 39l palette since i picked this palette i haven't really played with it that much so today i'm going to play with it i'm going for like a very simple makeup look um so this is going to be like a really quick makeup so let's get ready with me as you guys know i'm already i'm filming in daylight so i'm sitting right in front of the window so if the daylight kind of like play with me a little bit you guys will have to excuse more so i'm gonna take the emma brow pencil in 09 that is what i'm going to use to build my eyebrow I'm just gonna use that to fill everything in I just go with my normal brow shape you guys know eyebrow takes forever to do and some days I don't know if I'm the only one but some days it's much easier and some days it's just like very challenging so you see so I'm just going to follow the normal shape of the brow just fill it in quickly the makeup revolution brow kits this is in dark brown I'm gonna take the dark shade here. I'm gonna use this to fill the outer corner of my brow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna to continue to fill in the brow with the Makeup Revolution Brow Kits. Um, because um, the outer with the pencil, it doesn't really get really darker at the outer corner. So I'm just gonna fill in that. I'm really nice. And then after I'm going to use the makeup revolution um concealer that is what i'm going to use to shape so the concealer i'm using is makeup revolution concealer c13.5 that is the concealer that i'm using i'm just gonna like clean the brow a little bit to make it stand out um, i really love this concealer it's not like super super bright it's a few shades lighter than my skin tone but it's not like really really bright so i like to use the concealer on the on the on the bottom of the brow and then at the top i'm going to be using my foundation because then it looks natural i don't really like that really um light line that is on top of the brow it doesn't really look nice to me so i'm going to use the Milani's cream queen foundation in 520 i'm gonna use that to clean the top of my brow um i find it to be a little bit more natural when i use my concealer when i use my foundation on my on the top of my brow or i use a darker shade of concealer um, but I don't really like to use a light shade of concealer. But I feel like the foundation is very, 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 very much better. I really love the foundation method. It just makes everything look really natural. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to quickly blend first the top. Because I don't want that white, that really light shade concealer to be at the top. So that's the reason why I always blend the top first and then go ahead and blend the bottom i'm gonna blend it really 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 nice blend everything really smooth so now that i've done that i'm going to take the nyx waterproof eyeshadow base eyeshadow primer i'm gonna use that on my eyes i'm gonna prime and then after priming i'm going in with my eyeshadow palette so so now let's jump into the eyeshadow i'm going to remove this plastic I'm going to first start with this shade here. I'm going to put the shade in the inner corner here of my eyes. I'm going for like a really simple natural look. And I'm just gonna take the brush and just 
mm. learn everything. Now I'm going to take this shade here. I'm going to take this um, other shade here. I'm going to put this one on the brow. I'm just gonna this brush look a little bit too stiff for my liking. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Just bringing it in inwards. So I'm going to take this dark brown. I'm going to put this on the outer corner of the eyes and I'm just going to blend it smoothly. I'm also going to bring it a little bit inwards. Um, it's, I don't know, it looks kind of gray actually when you put it on the eyes. It looks a little bit gray. So if you have this palette, don't put a lot of this shade because then it's gonna look a little bit gray and you have to like play with it but when it when it comes on the skin it looks gray it looks kind of weird I don't know but I'm, I'm gonna make it work I'm just gonna blend it smoothly make a smooth transition between the brown and the lighter shades now what i'm going to do i'm going to take a little bit of this shade here and i'm just going to blend between the dark brown and this warm shade just try to make everything just emerge as one like this so blend 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 just blend it like that like that, I like to take also this brush that has no product, the outer corner also, just kind of like blend everything smoothly. So like that is it for the eyes. I took a little bit of the shade that I use on the outer corner and just do like a swipe emotion. Maybelline eyeliner just line the eyes I'm not gonna bring the liner all the way inside because then it makes my eyes look very very small Going to take this um, milk hydrating primer and I'm going to use my hand to blend it I've actually washed my hand so that is why my hand is looking so white because I didn't rub any hand cream or oil because I didn't want that to go into my skin so so now I'm going to take my NYX sponge to glow liquid illuminator Take my foundation brush, I'm just going to blend this. I like to focus on the higher part of my cheekbone and then I like to bring it in. And then the rest, I'm just going to blend it into the skin, like here. So now I'm going to take the scream, sc screen cream foundation. This is in zero in uh, 520. I'm going to take this. They still do have sales on this foundation at the bougie shop. I think now they even have it there now for like one euro or something like that. So check it out if you live in the Netherlands. I have been loving this foundation. 
it has actually been my summer foundation it has been the foundation that i have been using throughout this summer because it really matches my skin and it feels very very lightweight on the skin it's not like heavy on the skin so yeah like very very lightweight on the skin so i'm going to take whatever is on the brush i'm going to blend it on my forehead i just blend so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my sponge yep i'm going to take a little bit of foundation but sometimes when you use a sponge it kind of like suck off all the product just focus around your mouth around this area i like to just do like a dab motion and i'm just going in with the sponge on my entire face just dab 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 my neck Because I tied my head, so now I have this line. Of the product. I have this line on my forehead. Everything is done. So now it's time to highlight. I'm going to use that same concealer. The uh, C13. No, I think this is a... Yeah. C13. This is 13.5. That is the concealer that I'm using. There's my sponge. I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to blend everything comes to concealer you can use any concealer that matches your skin i like to go with a little bit darker concealer because the powder that i'm going to use is a little bit lighter and i just love that natural on the eye look um this is the way i do my makeup um it's just me showing you how i do things but if you have like products that works for you just stick with that just use what works for you and you can follow this method and just twist it and what works for you and make sure you blend your concealer very very nicely and blend it very very smooth i love the natural finish so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take the nyx can't stop won't stop powder And I'm going to use that one to set. I don't really like to bake or leave the powder to sit for a very long time. Sometimes I do do it, but not all, all the time. So I'm just going to take the setting powder. I'm going to put everywhere I put the concealer, underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, on my bottom lip, on my chin. And I'm going to put it also on the highest part of my cheekbone. I'm just going to blend everything. And then I'm going to use the powder to like shape my nose. So that when I'm contour, everything looks very snatch and beautiful. Okay, so now let's use my favorites. The Makeup Revolution Setting Powder. Let's use this one to set. I'm going to first focus. I break this I break this palette that's how much I use it but that's not going to stop me not from using this so we're going to use like I have some of this bodysuit that I picked up from Aliexpress and I always get question like where did you buy those bodysuit I may do a video show you guys. I actually wanted to do a try on haul AliExpress bodysuit. But just that 
um, they came in like in peace, peace. You know how AliExpress be doing things. They didn't came in at once. Like this one come and then few days later, a few weeks later, this one arrived. But I have, I've, I finally got everything here. So I may come and give you guys a try on haul. So you all see what they look on me. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to control my nose using the setting powder that i use on my face to control my nose because it looks more natural and so that's why i use it a lot now i'm going to take my morphe bronzer you guys know this is my favorite bronzer i really love this one i love this one because it's really warm it, it adds that warmness um onto my face and i just love the way it looks it just looks very very beautiful i'm gonna take that one also to kind of like shape the jawline a little bit to kind of snatch the face you know we're going for snatch and your girl has been eating a lot of um donuts <laughs> so the weight has been coming so we're going to snatch now i'm going to take the setting powder i'm going to do like the extra you know when you want to like extra snatch the jawline but I'm not going to leave the setting powder to sit for a very long time. As soon as I apply, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to take my face um, brush, which I use to apply my setting powder, my setting um, powder on my face. I'm going to use that. I'm going to immediately, immediately wipe everything off. Now I'm going to take the sleek um, bronzer kit. I'm going to use this to shade. The middle one has a little bit of pigment. And the other one is just matte and I really, really love it. It's really, really beautiful. I just love this bronzer. I don't use it all the time, but I do love it. So now I'm going to take this um, shadow. I'm going to take the 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 second, the, te the second two shade, the brown, the little bit like orange reddish and the brown. I'm going to take those two. I'm going to put it on my bottom lashes excuse the crazy face expressions because under eye is very very sensitive i'm gonna easily blend it and i'm gonna take a brush just easily blend everything smoothly and after we're done we're going to set so you guys know what i like to do i like to first set my face before going in with the highlighter i'm just going to take my sponge to dry my lip to get rid of any excess oil now i'm going to take the mac lip liner in chestnut i'm gonna use this to line my lip and just filled my lip in and then later on i'm going to use this um lip gloss from mac also it's the transparent lip gloss i have been looking for something like this um like the one i i, I have right now and i found this at the Duclos. so if you live in holland and you are interested check the do class this video is not sponsored i bought this product myself i just wanted to try something new and i really really love it like i'm really loving the way this eye makeup look turned out natural makeup looks look really beautiful on me and i just love the way it looks so this is the lip gloss this is actually from the mac at the do class it's really really beautiful i love it i'm even thinking of getting one more and keep it as a backup for in case this won't finish but i'm just going to like blend this blend everything and then i'm going to just take my finger to get rid of sometimes you know how the lip gloss kind of sits in your in your mouth and will enter on top of your teeth so that's the reason why i use my finger but i'm just going to easily blend that and just make it very popping so it's time to highlight i'm going to use my sun kiss bronzer you guys know i love this bronzer put a little bit in the inner corner of my eyes And then a little bit on the brown one, just a little bit. And the tip of my nose. And then on the bridge of my nose also.
I'm going to take this brush So now it's time to set. I'm going to use my makeup revelation oil control setting spray. I'm almost out of this, as you guys can see. There's almost nothing in here. Let's just finish it. So, Team Fullest, this is the finished result. I hope you all like this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, on my Facebook live page. All the links will be down in the description box. I really, really love this wig. I'm actually feeling this wig right now. I'm loving it. Just that it's a little bit too big, a little bit too loose right now because I have no hair on my head. So, but I'm really loving it. It looks really, really beautiful. And yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment box. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, on my social, on my Instagram, on my Facebook like page. All my social media links will be in the description box. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Team Fullest, thank you guys so so much. I hope you all enjoy this video, and as much as I enjoy, I'm really loving this look. It's very very beautiful. It's very very glam, um, simple makeup and i'll see you all in my next video peace out forget not to abonneren and hope you can see this new look let's see bye Doe.